Hello little Miss Sharon, how are you? Alrighty then. It has been brought to my attention that you reject any belief in the Big Bang Theory. Would you like me to explain once again what this entails? Please do. I love fairy tales. I will give you the condensed version for your impressionable little mind. It all began over 13 billion years ago when a large quantity of nothing decided to pack tightly together from a gravitational pull. This nothingness exploded outward into hydrogen and helium. These gases flowed outward through frictionless space to eventually form stars, galaxies, planets and moons. Hold on, first of all how could nothingness pack together? What caused the bang? There were no chemicals or atoms for a chemical or nuclear explosion. There also was no fire. Besides the non-existing gravity that pulled it together would keep it from expanding. For the sake of argument, let's say there was an explosion, the particles would maintain the same speed and direction forever. They could not slow down, change direction or stop to form planets. This is nothing but armchair calculations. I do not think I like your tone young lady. I think you should know that I am a respected scholar from a highly esteemed Ivy League school, who now works in a public middle school. <laughs> However, let me research your claims and get back to you. No offense sir, but you have already stumbled out of the gate. If you cannot answer the basics of evolution then how can I expect you to explain chemical evolution, stellar, planetary, organic, macro and micro evolution? Or why do three planets spin backwards while the others clockwise? And if we evolved from apes then why are there still apes? Then there is the problematic missing link. In regards to the missing link, geologists have found fragmented fossil evidence that proves the long journey from monkey to man. These fragments connect the Nebraska man, Piltdown man, Cro-Magnon all the way to modern man. Sorry to burst your bubble but those fragments have already been exposed by your scientific community as those belonging to an arthritech old man, chimpanzee and a pig's tooth. Which begs the question of how the missing link could be missing if it was never found to begin with. Why you narrow-minded little turkey? If God exists, then who created him? It is written, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. No one created God. And because he created space and time, the law of physics do not apply to him. If evolution is not true then all the government work, research grants, papers and college lectures would stop and many of us would be out of a job. Therefore God is inconvenient and bad for business. Evolution is blind ignorance based upon mere speculation and it's obvious sir that the only reason you do not believe is because you have decided not to. It takes faith to believe in God but it takes a lobotomy to embrace evolution. Once again, no offense. <laughs>